it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Remember that saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, hello guys. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to my quilting life. I have mail. Not a lot of mail. Just a little bit of mail. But some mail. Nonetheless. <laughs> so I'm just going to sit here and stretch. Oh, because we just vacuumed the house. And when I say vacuum, we vacuum the whole tile. We vacuum all the carpets. And you know how much thread comes up throughout this whole house? Not just in the quilt room, not just in the fabric room, not just in my bedroom, because somehow it manages to get in there. But throughout the whole entire house, I'm talking under the kitchen table, mm -hmm. under the long arm, between the couch. How does the thread get everywhere? Well, I don't know because it just manages to get in places. We don't even walk in this house in certain spots and there's thread. It just blows around and ends up everywhere. Just, <laughs> it's the weirdest phenomenon. So we vacuum the whole entire house to prevent the cat from eating thread. Or dust bunnies, period. Because well, to clean the house. Yeah, and to clean the house. But he'll see a pile of thread or something like blowing across the floor, and it's it's all hell breaks loose with him. He has to eat it, play with it, get it stuck on his face, on his nose, on his tongue. <laughs> he does. He makes the, the biggest mess, but he doesn't eat it. It's the funniest thing. He'll leave it there, but then it's all damp and a big pile of wet thread. <laughs> Anyways. Nice. Let's see who is all here. We yeah, have Nancy, that? Karina, Irish right. Sail Lady, Tammy, Natalie, uh, Loopy Fruit Boop. Ooh, that's a fun name <laughs> from the Netherlands. Weather is terrible. Ooh, that sucks. Uh, sea Card, Samantha, and Polly. Welcome, everybody. So I have just a little bit of mail today. As you can see, just a little bit just a small box some postcards and a little envelope you haven't done one in a while. yeah it's been over a month since i've had mail so anything that's sitting here like postcards have been sitting here for probably a month just waiting for me to have enough to have at least a 10 minute video or longer <laughs> so we're going to start with postcards we got one from Corpus Christi, Texas, the USS Lexington. So it looks like an air battleship. It just says a little something an from Texas. Huh? Yeah, an air battleship. It's an aircraft carrier. <laughs> aircraft carrier. That's the word. I enjoy your quilting life so much. Thank you for all you do. Come to Texas and, uh, and come to Texas for the International Quilt Fest. So this person right here wants me to come to Texas to the International Quilt Fest. Well, someday I will because Scott does have friends in Texas where we could stay yes, if do. we go to Texas. Yes, you do. So there's that one. Here is a postcard from Kelly's Island in Glacial Grove State Memorial in Ohio. So there's that. Just wanted to say hi and let me know how much they enjoy my creativity. He really enjoys my videos. Lives in Ohio. Got the postcard in northern Ohio near Lake Erie. God bless you and your family. So that's what that one says. I just love postcards. My postcard quilt is absolutely full, but I still manage to put more and more postcards on there. It's the weirdest thing. Then we have a postcard from... Maritime Museum in, of San Diego. So this is from San Diego, California. Look at that one. That one's cool. I like this ship right here. Maritime. That's yeah. The ocean, not oh. Maritime. Oh, but yeah. Whatever I said. <laughs> um, got this postcard for me, for me last time she went to San Diego. Lives in Northern California. Add this to your card collection. She may be in Lake Havasu for in, for in a few weeks. Would love to meet me and hang out. Also would love to contact me. So I'll, you know, there's an email on here that uh, I can kind of read. So <laughs> I'll get to that when I can. So that's a cool postcard. Well, she can email you. you or email you can email hand. me. If you were the one that sent this card, you know who you are. You can email me at any time and get together. Um, I definitely enjoy meeting the fans when they are in town. 
Uh, here is Lighthouses of York County. I don't know where York County is. Uh, I'm reading the card itself. It's, all, it's in Maine. Ooh. Okay, so here is the Lighthouses in Maine in York County. This says Tiffany Scott and Thumper. <laughs> Been watching me for a few years now. Learned so much. Loves all I do to inspire my subscribers. Keep up your health and good work. And this is from her vacation place. This is where she vacations. So there's that. That's awesome. The next thing I got, Scott opens the mail, so uh, I didn't sneak peek it. There's a package like this, and it came from a friend, obviously, because you just saw the outside of the package. <laughs> that friend has sent me some little tiny scraps. <laughs> Look at that. So there's some Tula scraps in here. Let's open this little baggie says, oh, you like small scraps? I send you small scraps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's some stripes in here. <laughs> Anything that's one inch, right? So there's some one inch scraps in here. There's some bigger scraps I'll cut down. and You, you tell get. the fans anything over one inch. You <laughs> tell them all the time. Uh, so there's stuff from the line work. You can even see it says Tula line work. And... So there's some scraps of that, just a ton of those. And then what do we got here? It is a block. Look at that. So I could add that to my block drawer because I have a drawer filled with blocks that I have yet to put into a quilt. But that's awesome. Look at that. I like it. And it'll get used. And that's funny that it's uh, fabric that's like paper. It has the paper lines. So I could actually take a marker, a fabric marker, and write in all this if I wanted to. Yeah, you could. It's like a high school paper. notebook. Yeah, yeah paper. Everybody, anyone's new. <laughs> anyone's notebook paper. Yeah. That's paper. pretty cool. <laughs> so that can go in my. I'm gonna call it quilt of wonders that I haven't mm -hmm. made yet with all these little wonders. <laughs> all right, so there's that. I'm just gonna put these back in the bag. So you know who you are out there, thank you. And then there is a box. It's one of those little smaller fits that ships boxes. It did one. Should be open. I did open it. Ooh, look at that. Oh, right off the top, something's popping out. Sneak peek. Oh, look at that. We're just gonna dump it and I'll just go through one whoa, one item at a time. Okay, nothing left in there. Stick my hand in, make sure. First thing we have is some pins. Oh, this is awesome. Girl, let's get sewing. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's more. Here's one that says, so now what? <laughs> That's fine. Let's get that to focus. There we go. <laughs> I like that one. Here's another one that says, I'm so fancy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love it. So there's three sayings pins. There is a cereal <laughs> quilter. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's a cereal quilter. And it looks to be like these are all woodwork items. So the person that sent this, this is a bottle cap opener, huh? Yeah. Yes. I don't drink, but this is definitely cool. Yeah, it's all woodworking stuff. Let's see. Car vent clip. So in here it says car vent clip. So you put it on your car vent mm -hmm. to have a little, let's get that to focus. Spool with roses. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, so it just decorates the inside so, of the car? Yeah, you decorate your car with it. Okay. Oh, no, it's a smelly good releaser. I was going to say, yeah, it's yeah, it has a scent thing. Yeah, it has a scent thing. So you put the scent thing inside this little thing, and then you put the cap thing on there, and bam, you have a car vent holder. It's 
pretty uh, good smelly. Let me smell. I want to smell. You smell. It smells like flowers. Yeah. It smells like fresh flowers, not just any flower scent, but a fresh flower scent. So that's pretty awesome. All right. Next is a needle minder. What's a needle minder? It's to magnetically magnetize your needles to to hold it. Oh. Holding needles. So it is a needle minder okay. that's made of wood, and it is a quilt block, and it's so pretty. Look at that. I don't need to use it as a needle minder, though. I could just hang it somewhere because there's a magnet, and I can just hook it to the quilt somewhere, and it'll stay on a quilt because it's a magnet. It's a pretty strong one, too. Look at that. So that's adorable. And it's wood. All right. What else do we got? What is this? Oh, it's a needle holder. Let's open this up. It looks like a cigar, though. <laughs> it looks like a piece of a part of a cigar because of the shape of it. What is it's it? It's for sewing needles. Oh, it holds the needle. Yeah. So you put your sewing needles in here. Open it. Is there any in? It's an unscrew. Oh, don't drop it, Tippy. And then you put your needles inside the thing, and then you close it up. It's for hand sewing. And I'm trying to think of hand sewing on the plane. I'm thinking about hand, bringing hand sewing because I'm going to be so bored. This will be perfect to put the needles in to go on the plane. Right? I'm pretty sure I could take it on with this. They can't be open needles that are just floating, right? I have, I have no case idea. Are you allowed in. to take needles on a plane? Yeah, it says in the thing. I looked up on the airport thing that, you know, what you can and can't take. So that's pretty awesome. All right, what do we got here? Summer Rose. <laughs> They didn't Put let me take shaving cream. Fragrance like on felt. Oh, so this is the fragrance for the felt pad for the car clip. Okay, yeah, I was going to say it wasn't Yeah, very there we go. Yeah, so it's Summer Rose. I said it smelled like fresh flowers, so it's Summer Rose fragrance. Get that the focus. For the pads that go for the car clip vent. So that's pretty awesome so that the scent is always there. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. Put a little bit on each time. Look at that. All right. Then we have a package that looks like this in there. So I'm going to unwrap all the plastic, plastic wrap. Ooh, plastic wrap. Look at that. That's a lot of plastic wrap. What have we got going on here? <laughs> it's like a joke present when you un you know you keep opening a box which opens a box which opens a box this is what plastic wrap reminds me of <laughs> this continuous plastic wrap oh look at that what have we got here oh wow this is awesome it is a metal sign that says quilts look at that your quilt through it. Ooh, you can. It's metal. So that's really awesome. This person definitely has laser, like a laser cutter machine. What is, I don't even know what those machines are called, but I know it's a laser cutter. Yeah. Look at that. I thought that's what it was called. Oh, look at this one. Notions. And I know exactly where to put this on my Notion what is that thing called again? Pegboard. pegboard. My pegboard. <laughs> this can go on my pegboard because this is pretty awesome. And it's a really cool color too. Look at that. Yes, that's going to go on my pegboard. All right, what else we got in here? We got some little notepads that have a spool with the roses, just like the car clip vent cover. Look at that. So it's just a plain notebook so you can write whatever you want in it and then there is a second one right here look at that oh here we go oh i like this it's a peel and stick sticker it's a sticker hold on let's get it out of the bag let's see because uh it's harder to see in the bag it is a sticker 
trying to get the pure colors of it. Can you see those colors? It is a quote block sticker. Look at that. Maybe that's the back side. Maybe that's the front side. Can you see the little... This is going to go on my machine. It's going to go on my machine because it's pretty. It's a pretty quilt block. Ooh, and another one. Yay. So my machine is going to get more decorated because here's another sticker. And this one's purples, pinks. Ooh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Can I just put it on my head? No, because that's a waste of a sticker. <laughs> All right. And then inside there, and this is where there's a big shout out. It is from my metal works right here. That's where these things are coming from. I'm going to hold up the card so that you guys can screenshot it if you want or write down that information. If you pause the video right there. So my metal works, it is even a store. It's got an Etsy shop. Here's all that information. Is that the focus right there? Holding it for a second so that you guys can see. So they are out of Hillmar, Hillmar California. Look at that. So it's a shop that sent these lovely items. Ooh, here we got more plastic wrap. Plastic wrap. Let's undo more plastic wrap. I think I know what this is. Good because I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Yeah, this is a, what I'm unwrapping right now with this lovely sound. You want some ASMR? This is bobbin. This is binding. Binding. Why did I say bobbin? It looks like a spool. These are the binding butlers. So you make your binding and then you stick it through the holes and then you wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and wrap it on to these acrylic templates. Look at that. That is pretty darn awesome if I do say so myself. And it even says it right there. The binding butler. Can you read it? There we go. Hmm. Look at that. So this will hold binding. So if I pre-make my binding and I need, you know, I don't do it for another three or four days, they can go on these. That's pretty awesome. All right. What do we got in this little baggie here? I'm going to open this little baggie that has, ooh, look at this. Somebody watches my videos. We have for charm pack oh and it's even custom oh you guys got to see this here is the drunkard's path template for charm packs that says tiffany's quilting life on it that is awesome haha <laughs> i love it now i can make more drunkard's paths with the template look at that so awesome i love it and not just one but two Junkard's Path templates. This one, the paper has not even been taken off. And it says Tiffany's Quilting Life right on it. See, I love it when my fans love me so much that they customize my own templates. That's pretty great. Pretty great. Can't wait to make a quilt with actual templates and not cardboard made templates. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right. Well, that was that. You know who you are. That was pretty awesome. All custom made stuff for the Tiffy. I love it. I definitely love these pins and their sayings. Girl, let's get sewing. That's that's something my friend Eric would say because he says, girl, yeah. want to hang out? Girl, you want to know what I'm doing today? Girl. <laughs> it's cute. And the so what now? Well, that's what I say every time I finish a quilt. Can you tell what the name of your ruler for two and a half or five and a half? I have no idea. These are for five inch squares. This that, that new drunkard's mean? path is for five inch squares for charm packs. 
Yep. Look at that. So this is some fun stuff. I definitely am going to hang my notions thing though. That's going on the pegboard because that's awesome. And that'll go right there. And where um, are you going on an airplane? Where am I going on an airplane? I'm flying to Virginia and I'm going to be at Becca's house. And then we are driving to North Carolina for QuiltCon in February, the end of February. And then we are driving back to Virginia to Becca's house where I'm going to stay for another week. So I'll be gone two weeks and then I get back on a plane and fly home. So that's going to be fun. It's going to yeah, be fun. Yeah, tell them thanks to Southwest, they keep extending your stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Becca, I, I actually have to talk to you about that because the airline company has extended my stay. I could change things or I can just keep it, which I'm going to keep it. And I'll tell you all about that later. <laughs> She says she's so freaking excited. Yes, she's I'm very here. excited. I'm she's like, <laughs> the only thing I'm stressed out about, because you guys, if you haven't, you know, been watching me for a long time, I've never flown. Now, I have flown, but not up above the clouds. I've never been above the clouds. I, um, I've been in a helicopter, and it, not because I uh, wanted to sightsee. It was a helicopter for emergency whatever, and all I did was stare out the window and go, oh, look at how beautiful. Oh, we're in Vegas already? You know, that was my helicopter ride. And then me and Scott, on our first year anniversary, we that. went up in, no, second year. Are you talking about the hot air balloon? No, no, no. I'm talking about flying in the airplane. Uh, airplane? That wasn't our first year anniversary. That hot was air balloon was third. like our first year anniversary. Yeah, we went up in a hot air balloon. So that was open up in the sky. And then on... Our, one of our anniversaries. Was, I don't know. I don't know maybe one. it was our second year anniversary or third. We went into a regular, like nine passenger plane. Is that what it's called? It's not. A, it wasn't a jet. It was just like a little nine passenger cargo plane kind of thing. It had and propellers. It had propellers. So we went in that, and obviously did not go above the clouds. And we stayed pretty low the whole time because it was like a lake tour and, well, yeah, and river to tour see. to see. The whole Lake, Lake Havasu, Havasu from above. So I've technically been up there, just not way up there. And with lots of people and screaming kids and snoring people, I've not been on a plane with that kind of stuff ever, you know, where I'm there for however long. It's like a six or eight hour flight, the total of flight time. Like, ugh, not done it yet, but I will be in February. <laughs> so that's the only thing I'm worried about is wow. flying because I've never flown before on a commercial airplane. So that's my only worry. Oh, anyways. You'll be fine. Yes, I'll be fine. Any questions or anything? That was it so far. You'll be okay. Just bring some headphones and some handwork. I See? And that's where this will come in handy to put needles in. Look at that. While I'm on an airplane, I'm just going to hand sew. I thought about it, and I definitely am probably most likely going to do it. Since I know how to hand sew, I might as well. It gives me something to do, and, yeah, it'll keep my mind off of things. Think of it as a large taxi cab in the yeah. sky. You want to hear something even funnier? I've never been in a taxi. I've never had to take a taxi. I've never been in a big city. Well, I grew up in California, but never had to take a taxi. My parents were my taxi. <laughs> I've only ever taken a taxi in the military overseas. Really? I've yeah, never I've, taken a taxi in America. So I've, there you I've go. I've never taken a taxi. So there anywhere. you go. Neither has your husband. Anywhere and... I've ever lived, we don't have taxis. I mean, here we have taxis, but I own my own car. So what's the point? I've been in a limo. That's not a taxi, though. But Yeah, that, was, a, that was an anniversary thing, too. We yeah. drove around in a limo and looked at Christmas lights. Yep. Yep. We, Scott and I try to do weird, different things for our anniversaries, so... Anyways, uh, let's see. The larger the plane, the smoother the ride. It's like a 747 Boeing. That's what it is. It says on the, you know, plane stuff. Uh, that's a cute data idea. Yes, we, uh, we have all sorts of fun things that we do just randomly for anniversaries and dates and stuff. All right. Any Maybe other that. questions? Anything? Anything? Anything you'd like to ask? kind of really happy about these binding uh, butlers because I definitely need to wrap up my binding. 
I, I just bound something yesterday, and it would have been nice to have it all cleaned Stryka up. Stryka says you, should, you guys should get a tattoo while you're there. <laughs> that I should get a tattoo? Together. You guys oh. should get one together. What you are we going to get? Zillion. What kind of tattoo are we going to get? Quilt box? <laughs> Actually, that's a cute idea. Matching little quilt blocks. That is a Best good idea. Best friend quilt box. I actually blocks. like that. <laughs> that's funny. I don't know where I have space for a tattoo. No, I'm just kidding. I have plenty of space. I... Show that card one more time for you. The get card. On. Oh, okay. So it is My Metal Works. So there's the front of the card. Oops, focus. There we go. And that's their number. And then the rear of the card is this. Uh, focus right there. That's all their information. If I come in closer, maybe it'll be easier to read. There we go. So there we have it, My Metal Works out of California, and they make binding butlers. They make Tiffany's Quilting Life custom charm square dress, uh, Junkard's Path templates. They make metal signs. Look at that. It's so awesome. They make stamped books, you know, things like that. They make needle minders, needle holders. Car vent clips with smelly good stuff. If you drink beer or anything that has a thing, they make these custom poppy top things. And they also make bottle. custom... Yeah, bottle opener. <laughs> bottle opener, yeah. <laughs> and then they also make custom pins poppy with top. sayings. Poppy Those are so awesome. <laughs> I'm kind of curious how this pen writes. Let's, let's write with this pen real quick before we get off of here. Beautiful. <laughs> it definitely writes beautiful. Look at that. So that's perfect. And it's, it's a really nice uh, rounded edge poppy button to push the pin out. And then stickers. So they probably make way more than this. Just go on the website. I saw Pekka. Pekka. I Becca. saw Pekka. Becca put in a link. I was trying to say put and Becca all at the same time. And, you know, it just comes out all whatever. So there we have that. Thank you guys all for hanging out with me this morning and uh, opening mail with me. And for those that sent something, thank you very much. You know that I love my postcards. Oh, yeah. I love my postcards. And I love all the cute stuff and helping promote other businesses as well as my tiny scraps from a friend. <laughs> so I love everything. So... Anyways, I'm going to get off of here, guys. If there's nothing else, thank you all for hanging out. And I will see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. Arizona time for some Sew Sunday, where I don't know what I'm sewing on a Sunday. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh, can I hit the button? X. There it is. <laughs>